We got two really, really good bucks there, guys. I think that's going to be the biggest one. When I went to bed last night, I think our video had around 1,000 views. But when I woke up in the morning, it had over 10,000 views, which is absolutely insane. And I couldn't believe it. So honestly, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the amazing people here who watched the video from yesterday. It really means a lot. And honestly, I want to get back out there today and do some more whitetail hunting and possibly elk from a tripod. Well, we got a pretty nice herd of whitetail here. There's uh, probably seven or eight different bucks. Definitely one really good shooter. That buck there, right dead center in the middle, should be like a 200 plus buck, which is kind of what we're after. And there's also another pretty good wide whitetail buck over there. So what I want to do is come back here, set up a tripod, and hopefully these deer come back. Okay guys, so here's kind of what we have set up here. We have a tripod set up here on this little funnel. It's kind of like a natural funnel. And there's a nice little opening here. It goes right down to this lake here where they should get a drink maybe 40 yards to the left side of us here. So we should be something pretty good. I don't exactly know what time they're going to come, but it should be pretty soon. So let's get up in our tripod and get set up. All right, so this is what we're going to be looking at here. We can see pretty much a 360 in front of us and all the way to the right side of us to about like 50 yards that way, probably something like that. Yeah, something like 50 yards. And then we can see all the way over here to... No way. There was a huge buck in that herd. And it came in behind us. Well, you live and you learn, I guess. So this herd of whitetail just came past, but they actually went behind us. I didn't think they were going to go that far back. I thought they were going to come closer to us and we would have a good wind. But actually they went behind us and the wind is blowing directly towards them. So we're going to have to try and get set up a little bit different. Well guys, that didn't exactly work how I wanted it to. It worked pretty decent, but now we had to make some adjustments. So we were in that funnel right there, maybe probably like 100 yards away from us. And the deer actually looped around the back side of us, so we weren't able to get a shot. So what we did was we actually moved our setup over, um, probably 20 yards out from where these deer should come out. All right guys, we got movement, we got movement. I definitely see some deer coming in. They look like whitetail. Yeah, those are definitely gonna be whitetail. So we're sitting over here, maybe 50 yards away from where we just were, because like I said, the wind was not good and they snuck around the backside of us. But this time they should come out pretty close. And it looks like we have a pretty decent buck right out in the front here. He's not exactly the biggest one. Definitely a decent buck though. Now what we could try and do is take him down and make a perfect drop shot. We might try and do that. Nope, we're not gonna. We'll let him be. And oh my god, here they come, and that's our big buck, that's our big buck. We gotta get him to slow down, guys. There's definitely two, three different bucks in this herd. Okay, that'll work. We got two really, really good bucks there, guys. I think that's gonna be the biggest one. Go for a hard shot. Smoked him. We can maybe get this one. Nope. There's one over here. That buck there didn't spook. So we might be able to get lucky enough to get him. Yeah, he's right there. He's about 50 yards out. Oh, I think that might work. I don't know what we hit. <laughs> we hit super, super far back. But he did drop. Something that might have been like a Texas hard shot. I honestly think it might have been. Well, it definitely looks like they're coming back. I can see two, three different bucks coming in here. So let's get ready. All right, there's one of them. It's a pretty good buck right there. It's only 130 yards out. What do I hear? Oh, what do we have here? Oh, they're coming back. They're coming back, guys. The white tailed doe. But I think we're gonna take her down. Yeah, we're definitely gonna take her down. Ooh, smoked her, but just missed the top of the heart. She is down, so it's okay. I don't think it would spook him. Yeah, no, it didn't spook him. It definitely did not spook him. Because I see there's a doe right there and there's a buck right there. Should be coming in here any second now. 
Is that? Yeah, that's the buck. That's the buck. Well, there's definitely like two or three different bucks. So let's get ready. Let's get ready. We got a pretty good buck right here, guys. That's going to be definitely the one that we want. We might try and take him down with the recurve. Ooh, I really want to try and take this buck down with the recurve. He's only like 15 yards in front of us. But we got to get a better angle. Come on. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh my God, we dropped him. <gasps> we just dropped him with the recurve. I think that's actually technically our first white tail deer down with the recurve bow. got a black tail buck behind us here he's not that big though but if he comes past we might try and take him down looks like we have some more white tail coming around the uh, back side over here we got a call from more black tail let's get ready on this uh oh geez got a doe there doe there and a doe there i'd like to get another buck but i don't know if we're going to be able to i think what we might do is take down one of these does Depending on if the other buck comes back in or not. I don't know. We're going to take down this black tail buck, guys. He is right here. Perfect shot. He's down. Man, we're definitely getting the hang of this recurve bow. Looks like a black tail doe is coming in over there. Bunch of white tail doe is coming in here. I'm still waiting for at least one more buck. We already have a doe down, so there's definitely going to be a buck somewhere nearby. We're patient enough. They should step out. And we'll be ready for them. It's a buck. That's a buck. Yep, that's definitely a buck. Not a big one, but definitely a buck. Ooh, that's a good buck. That's a real good buck. All right, guys. See, we had a little bit of patience. Now we got a nice white tail buck coming out here. 30 yards out, coming right to us here. I think we're going to take him down with the Hawkage bow. He's holding tight out there at about 30 yards. Kind of quartering, but pretty broadside. I was about to take that too. Be patient. Can't take that shot. It's going to work. That's going to work. Not that angle. Wait, is that the wrong buck? It's the wrong buck. Where's the big buck? Is that him? Lost sight of him. No, it's not. That's the big buck. We almost just shot the wrong buck, guys. Whew, good thing we didn't. Good thing we didn't. He's right there, right underneath that tree. Okay, another buck just snuck in. And he looks big. Ooh, another nice buck just snuck in, guys. Wow. That's the buck that we wanted. That's the wide white tail buck that we saw before. He's about 20 yards out. We're going to take him with the bow. Zero in for 20. See if we can't get him to slow down. Smoked him. Perfect shot. He's down. The other buck just took off. I think we're doing pretty well. I think we have, what, four different bucks down and a doe? Three white tail buck and a black tail. Actually, three white tail buck, a black tail buck, and a doe. So technically, that would be. We have like five different deer down right now, guys. We are doing quite all right. Well, guys, I really want to get this last buck here. I can see him coming in right there. Look at his rack. Right there. Here he comes. Here he comes. A doe there. What is that? Another doe. He should be following her any second now. Here he comes, here he comes. I really want to try and get this one down with the recurve, guys. We just smoked that last two with the bow. I want to try and use the recurve. Is that a buck? There might be another buck over there. I can't tell. It's definitely another buck. That's a small buck. That's a small buck. Let's take this one down, guys. Took a quartering shot and we dropped him. 
No way. I thought there's no way we're getting vitals. I was hoping that we would catch at least a single lung. And somehow we dropped them. I don't know how we dropped them. But somehow we definitely dropped them. Actually, there's still another buck over there. That's that buck that we wanted from before. He's 52 yards out. He's definitely in range. Kind of borderline. I don't know if he's going to stop though. Nope, he's not gonna. Okay, scratch that. He just stopped. He stopped at 60 yards out here, guys. He's quartering at us pretty hard. We could definitely get a single lung. We got so many deer piled up here, it's not even funny. <sighs> We're gonna have to get down and pick some of these up here soon, but I do feel like we could take the shot. 60 yards out. Using the Hawkage bow. 58. Did we just drop him? I can't tell if we dropped him. No, he took off. Is that? <laughs> if that's not a deer's leg right there, <laughs> we definitely dropped him. I was like, the shot looked good, but I didn't see him run. And I don't see him piled up. <laughs> That's because he's behind that tree. Well, guys, I think we did pretty good. Pretty good indeed. We have right here... Are these all bucks? There's a buck there, a buck there. That's our big buck there. And I think that might be a doe or a black tail buck. I honestly don't remember. All right, well, I guess we're going to grab this one. This is the one that we got with the recurve. This is the wide white tail. Wow. What an awesome shot. Double lunged him at 16 yards out with the recurve bow. A very nice buck, 193 on him. Awesome. So that was that wide white tail. Then we're gonna go over here. I think we'll grab the doe. Then we'll grab the two medium sized bucks. And then we'll grab our big buck right after that. I think he's gonna be like a 210 or 215 or something like that. And I think we need at least like a 205 to be gold potential. So here's this one. This is our doe. Yep. We got a left lung at 30 yards out. We took her with the hawk edge bow as she was quartering at us there. Then we got these three down here. And actually, this is the wide buck here. We took him at 22 yards out, double lunged him. He's gonna score 180. I think there was two bucks that were very similar to the same size. We got the one with the recurve and we got the one with the hawk edge bow. So that's pretty cool. Then uh, we should probably grab our arrow actually. That could be nice. Um, This is our black tail. We might as well pick him up. Another incredible shot with the recurve. Double lunged him at 13 yards out. Man, we are definitely getting the hang of using this recurve bow. Then I really want to check out this one, guys. Remember we took a quartering away shot and I thought it might have been like a Texas heart shot? I do think it's still going to be like a Texas heart shot because the arrow is in it, like pretty much in its butt. So I don't see where else we would have hit this thing. Actually, we ended up getting a liver shot and he was quartering away so much that we caught the uh, stomach, intestine, and liver at 38 yards and a 202 white tail buck right there at 38 yards out. That's pretty cool. Another pretty wide white tail buck right there. Then there's this buck. This is the last buck that we took right behind the tree and all we could see was his leg right here sticking behind the tree. So if we didn't see that, then I wouldn't have thought that we actually did drop this buck. But before we pick him up, I'm going to show you on the map where we were and where we hunted this entire time here. So we're actually by Mushroom Lake, which is kind of rare. The fact that we're finding Whitetail right now. It is during Whitetail drink time, but we're not getting a zone from them for some reason. So what we have set up, we have a tent right here and we have our tripod set up right here. I think what's happening is they're bedding somewhere over here. And then when they come back to drink, they come back this way and they drink right here. But we have our tripod right here and we just smoke. All those whitetail. What do we take down? Eight or nine different whitetail right here? All right, so let's pick up this buck now. And we ended up getting a shoulder blade left lung liver shot at 65 yards out. And we dropped that buck right in his tracks. Just a little guy. But you know what? That's another buck down. We got this buck down here. Let's grab this one. That's going to be a 176. We ended up getting... Oh, we got him with the recurve too. That was the one that was quartering at us. Yep, just like that. 
Ooh, we got a little lucky there. I mean, with the recurve, though, I will definitely take that. Left lung liver stomach at 18 yards out and a 176. A nice white tail buck right there. And last, we have this guy. This is going to be our biggest buck of this hunt. And it looks like we smoked him. This is the one we took with the hawk edge bow, I think at like 22 yards. Let's pick him up. He's going to be a gold. A 219 gold white tail buck. We double lunged him at 20 yards out. What an awesome looking buck. All kinds of points. Got some stickers on them. Let's take a look at that shot. Perfect. You can see we're up in the tripod. So we kind of had like a downward angle from the arrow. Ended up getting double lung at 20 yards out. Awesome buck. And you know what? I think that's going to be a good way to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.